the peripheral nerves of the body uh, can be cut longitudinally and this is a longitudinal cut uh, of a nerve and this is the axon this darker line right here that's the axon this area next is the myelin sheath and then this outer covering uh, is the endoneurium or outer sheath of the neuron process. This could be an axon or a dendrite. Here is the axon again, this lighter area, the myelin sheath, and then the uh, endoneurium, the outer covering. If we scan along the longitudinal cut we may see a constricted area where the myelin sheath dips in and where the myelin sheath here, the endoneurium, uh, tucks in at this point. This is called the node of Rambier. We'll look and see if we can find another one that's a little more obvious and node of Ranvier where the here, here's one here there's where the endoneurium is uh, pinching in here and here and that's the node of Ranvier uh, on the longitudinal section uh, of the nerve we can uh, switch to a cross-section and look at the nerve on cross-section and uh, there is a covering around these nerves this is the perineurium these are bundles of nerves here and this is the perineurium and here's the cross-sectional cut of the nerve and we'll go look on higher power and uh, when we do look at higher power in this cross-section, we can see the dark central dot, which is the axon fiber, the nerve conducting element, the light space, which is the myelin sheath, and then the endoneurium on the exterior. Here's another axon, and then the white is the myelin sheath, and then the outer endoneurial covering. If we go back to the longitudinal uh, tissue, we might be able to see the um, see the um, Schwann cells, which are the cells that give rise to the myelin, and they're an elongated nucleus that's found along the exterior uh, of these of these cells. And this dark, flat nucleus right here would be a Schwann cell. Here's another one here. <clears throat> these flat, dark nuclei are Schwann cells reducing the violence.